we've developed a deburring protocol that gives a sharper than razor edge. Deburring is done in several steps. First step is to remove the main burr. The S35VM steel that this blade is made of requires diamonds for honing because of the high content of vanadium and molybdenum. This is explained in detail in my knife deburring book, the chapter on high-end knives. Step one, remove the main bear. You can remove the main bear either on paper wheels or on Tomek using our frontal vertical base. If you do it on Tomek, use our rock hard felt wheel with six micron diamond spray in alcohol suspension, grid 3000. If you have neither paper wheels nor the felt wheel, you still can do it on the Tomek leather wheel with a five micron diamond paste and our frontal vertical base. We do it on paper wheels. The honing angle on paper wheels is set with the help of the controlled angle support for paper wheels that we've developed and computer software that we've developed as well. Our deburring protocol for the S35VM steel is in the knife deburring book. So we remove the main burr on the paper wheel with 10 micron diamonds. Do as many passes as needed till you cannot detect the burr naked eye and by brushing your finger across the edge. Typically takes from two to four passes alternating sides. Having cleaned the blade, check that the bear is gone. If not, do more passes. In case of this folding knife, it took three passes each side to remove the main bear. In regular sharpening, you do not have to measure sharpness after each step. We do it for the purpose of this video. Before you continue to the next wheel, to prevent cross-contamination of diamond wheels, if you see marks 
on the cloth tape, change it to the clean one. Now we move to the step two. Step two, narrow the edge on the sides, sparing the very apex. To produce an edge sharper than a razor, we move to the next step of polishing the edge bevels, the edge sides, but attention, not the edge apex. The next step is to polish the bevels and narrow the edge on the sides, sparing the very apex. We do it by honing with fine abrasives at an angle less than the edge angle. For example, the edge that has been set on the CBN Grit 1000 at 15 degrees per side, we hone at 14.9 degrees on a paper wheel. But if you use the Japanese SJ polishing stone wheel, polish at a half degree less than the edge angle. In our example, a 15 DPS edge polish at 14.5 degrees. Polish on the Japanese stone wheel with the wheel rotation using our frontal vertical base. By honing on the paper wheel with five micron diamonds, at a lesser than the edge angle, we avoid risk of rounding the edge apex that is already razor sharp, as we know. Setting the honing angle with such a high precision can only be achieved with the aid of our computer software. Another goal we achieve by honing at a shallower angle is smoothen the shoulders of the bevel, thus reducing the traction in cutting and making the knife cut effortlessly. Then the markings are little, we can just wipe them off. But when they are pronounced, we have to replace the cloth tape to prevent cross-contamination of the diamond wheels. If you have done this step right, you get a polished edge with an polished apex. Because your honing was not supposed to reach the very apex, I tried to capture this 
in the following microscope image, though it wasn't easy with the knife still in the jig. That fringe of unpolished apex that you see at the end of the polished edge is sharp as a razor and averages 0 0.1, one tenth micron in thickness. We now will take this edge from razor sharp to sharper than a razor by reducing the edge thickness. This is done on a paper view impregnated with half a micron diamonds at the exact edge angle. Two passes, alternating sides. The knife steel S35VN is in the intermediate group, meaning that it produces a small wire edge. The wire edge is a micro burr and root of the burr polished into the edge rather than removed. The wire edge splits a hair but is weak and falls under a light cutting load. When we first discovered this phenomenon, in a S35VN folding knife, similar to this one, its edge rolled on cutting pizza. We did a microscopy and saw a tiny wire edge on the blade. To make this edge strong, we need to remove the wire edge and expose the clean apex. Step four, remove the wire edge. Remove the wire edge on a solid rock cut felt wheel with one micron diamonds set at a higher than the edge angle. It took us a lot of trial and error to conclude that one micron diamonds derude the wire edge, derude the burr, best of all. In our sharpening workshop, we call this step deroting. As explained in my knife deburring book, how much higher must be the deroting angle depends on the steel. The knife steel S35VM we derude at 0 0.4 degree higher than the edge angle. Since we have ground the edge at 15 degrees per side, we derute it at 15.4 degrees per side. 
use our frontal vertical base and software. The S35 VN still requires four slow passes from the rock hard front wheel alternating sides. When the knife steel is harder, the instrument shows immediate improvement in sharpness after the felt wheel. But when the knife steel is more malleable, is in the intermediate group, the metal cleaned by the felt moves to the apex and hangs on it in the form of a thin foil edge. On the sharpness tester, this foil edge falls against the test line and we often see a bad reading of about 150 bass. In this case, about 130. This sharpness score is not from the edge apex. It is the folded foil on the apex. When we clean the foil away, we expose the true edge apex that is sharper than razor. We get rid of that foil either by stropping on a plain leather or single pass on a paper or leather wheel with pure chromium oxide. But pure chromium oxide works better. Important is the sharpness that we get after finishing the cleanup with the chromium oxide not straight after the felt. Step 5. Finishing cleanup. We do the finishing cleanup on a slotted paper wheel with a mix of 0.25 micron diamonds and pure chromium oxide at the exact edge angle. We need diamonds to sharpen high vanadium steels. However, finishing with the Conventional abrasive like chromium oxide makes the vanadium carbides stand out in the steel matrix and gives a more aggressive cut. This step is as critical as an eye surgery because the edge is worked in the area of only a few microns in height and half a micron in thickness. And if we overhone the apex, we will ruin all our previous efforts. 
We do it on a slotted paper wheel, run on a half speed buffer. But if you do not have paper wheels, can be done on a dedicated leather wheel on turmeric. See my video of how to prepare a pure chromium oxide paste. Do one pass across the paper wheel each blade side and test on the best sharpness tester. If the instrument reading is still just in the razor edge range of around 50 bass, do one more pass each side on the paper wheel and test the sharpness again. We test sharpness with the knife in the knife jig, ready to continue if needed. As you see, we need one more pass, and we do it now. As soon as the instrument shows sharper than a razor edge, stop. Because if after that you do a single more pass, you may overhone the apex and not really blunt it, of course, but lose that extraordinary sharpness. The edge we've got is about twice as sharp as the commercial Gillette shaving razor. A word about the grinder buffer for paper wheels. The paper wheels must be slotted. 10 inch paper wheels are run on 8 inch grinder buffer to give your fingers on the knife handle room over the housing. Should be half speed. 1425 RPM in Australia and Europe and 1750 RPM in the USA. Half a horsepower is okay, though quality ones are typically one horsepower. Important for the buffer grinder to have better than average bearings and flanges and be well balanced. On cheap grinders, the wheels wobble and hammer 
the blade like crazy, as if the paper wheels are out of the round, even though they are not. Setup is explained on our website. Sharpness of this knife has reached 22 best, which is indicative of edge apex thickness near 5 hundredths of micron, 0.05. Note that a Gillette shaving razor has 0.1 micron edge and scores 50 best. This level of sharpness is extraordinary for knives and typically can only be achieved by fanatic straight razor sharpness. Anyone can do it following these steps. There is no magic and I have no sharpening talent. Simply following the protocol, you get knives that are not just crazy sharp, knives that are utterly insane sharp, so sharp that should be made illegal.